I hate this thing. It's always getting in the way. Uh, you know, it was not made for what I'm doing, but I need this space, so I need to get rid of it. So today we're gonna figure out how to uh, take out the grab handles, and unfortunately there, there's no screws right here, no, no easy access screws for us to take it out. I'll show you. So a lot of grab handles just have a little cover, and then you take out that cover and it exposes screws that you could just unscrew, but this does not. So my guess is that the screws are down in here somewhere, so we're gonna have to take off this paneling and uh, to remove that pain in the butt thing. So it looks like uh, this, I need to remove this to get to here. And with these things, again, um, th there'll be little plastic pins that you you have to just pull pull on through and sometimes they break and sometimes they don't. Let's give it a shot. All right, so what it looks like in there, it looks like this guy, this guy will go here. So it exposes this. So now we could get to it, but I, I assume on the other side, there's a similar thing. So this guy, we're gonna need to yank up too. That's probably all we need. I don't need to take that off completely. So it exposes this area. So let's give it a shot. Um, so from here, there's the, the seat belt. So I'm going to assume that this seat belt uh, is also preventing me from opening up that panel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this and then un unbolt that seat belt and hopefully I'll be able to pull all this out. Okay, so for this cover right here, what you do is you kind of, it's wrapped around something. So you kind of pry it pry it out and then push it out all right and that's what it looks like so we're gonna take out this bolt my assumption is a 14 let's see how good my guess right. is so you will need a 14 millimeter socket there we go So that's what it looks like. It should be a big bolt, of course. It's for safety. Let's see if we can pull this sucker out now. Let's see what's holding it back. All right. So that's off. You can see it has these hooks right there. So what I probably should have done was you know, pressed it in a little bit before I yank it out. So, but if you yank hard enough, it comes out too apparently. But if you want to make it a little bit easier, press it in a little bit and then pull out because these pegs will will be uh, will be uh, what's holding it in. Here's some of the, the plastic pins that I tell you guys about that when you pull out these panels, it could break. You could see this did not break, but this one did break. So moving up, there's a screw right here and you'll need a, a 10 millimeter socket to take to get that sucker out. This one's not so tight as the other one because it's not a seat belt. You know? See if this will start coming off now. All right. Same type of thing as the other one. Looks like there's you just kind of pull it out.
break anything, so pry it out without having any extreme angles. So that you kind of yank down and out. And here, you're gonna expose these bolts. And that's what we want. We wanna take those suckers off. They look like tens also. There you go, grab handles are gone. I'm gonna snap everything back. All right, so to put this back together, we gotta put this guy back in and there are little grooves, little edges where you, you, you slide this thing in. So, so it's, there's like a, a rail that you need to click that into. Get that seat belt out. Slide the top part in and put in the top pin. Make sure that the 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 rubber weather stripping is is covering the little side <laughs> things, whatever they're called. Once it's in, pop, pop in that top one, and then there's another pin right here that you need to pop in. Oh, and don't push that button. Careful not to push the door open button. stripping in and then uh, put back the on the ball so we're basically going to go backwards okay Make sure the, the peg, make sure the pegs are in here and not stuck to the frame still. If it is, you pull it out and put put it slide it in first before you try to push it back in, or else it won't have any pegs to latch onto the hole. Same thing, make sure your weather stripping is lined up. Got that in. Now, seatbelt bolt. Make sure you torque it back to spec. All right. All right. Everything's. Okay, going back over here, we're gonna smack that back down. 
All right, that's in. So basically what I did was I just stopped my foot on it to get it in. Last part. Let's do the same tactic. Yep, works like a charm. Let's get to put on this cover. All right, now let's try getting in and out without those door handles again. That was way easier. All right, so now that I got these handles in and I can move in and out a lot freer, a lot easier, it's, it's Miller time. No, I don't drink Miller, but you get the point.